WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Del Rey Beach, Florida, with your 1 p.m. update. And currently we have a mixed bag out here. The Dow's off 34 points, one tenth of a percent. S&P a quarter of a percent, 11 points. The Nasdaq 100, six tenths of a percent, 85 points. Russell's up seven. Semis are up 15. Trannies are off 16. New York Stock Exchange is up 15. You've got gold trading out at 1819. Looks like we've got a breakout going on. She's trading uh, up 12 bucks. Uh, silver is up 59 cents. Uh, even the XAU has gotten some legs. That's up 3%. The 30 year Treasury, she's trading out at 153.11. That's up three ticks. And Light Sweet Crude off a of buck 10, trading out at 91.21. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES Mini. In the upper left hand side, you're going to see a little descending trend line. If price can overcome that trend line, and I don't know that it will, but if it can, and it's about the 45.50-ish zone, then we should see a move up into the 46.25, maybe even the 46.84-ish type area out there. Now, we're not going to see a move higher. First, price has got to take out the trend line. Second, you've got to see that spot volatility is below its 50-day exponential moving average, which is currently priced at 22.38, and the spot fix is at 23.45. I've got a similar uh, trend line inside the NQ. So breakout here to the upside would be at about, I don't know, 15, 0, 17, somewhere in that vicinity. And if price can take that out, then what we'd be looking at is a move up to perhaps 14, 592, even 16, 659. That's to the upside. To the downside, you can see inside the NQ, you've got a rising trend line that happens to tie right into a new weekly profile that is attempting to form. That new profile is low, is at 14,001. I say attempting to form because we're using Stevie's Super Doppler tool. And on a weekly basis, that means it will not be confirmed until next Sunday evening. U.S. dollar index, it's got a TD9 count top. And as long as price remains below the bottom of its daily profile, profile 95.60 which should see a move back to 95.10 gold here if it can close the day above 18.18.20 we're at 18.21 right now then that will tell me that will tell us that this is not just a counter trend move because that was the center of its bullish structured profile the message there would then be price would have another wrestling match up at about the 18.30 level and then above that you've got its longer term descending trend line out there or a longer term descending trend line. Folks, we didn't get through all this, but stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. We'll certainly take a look at all these instruments. Goldilocks, silver, high home silver, light sweet crude, natural gas, which is pulling back and testing the support level. If you're off to start your Monday, have a magical and a magnificent one. We'll look forward to seeing you again soon.